Welcome back to the channel. I'm Hank Strange. This is Stranger Palooza. We're at the 2022 Overland Expo East in Virginia. And last year we had Freedom Van Gogh on. I'm sure you remember this very happy gentleman, Grant. <laughs> <laughs> Hey everyone, a new Vanasaur t-shirt design is out, just in time for the winter season. It's called Winter Camping Fun. Even here in the Sunshine State, it feels a lot like winter. If you're a fan of outdoor life, then this is a great way to give someone you care about a gift or get something for yourself and support this channel at the same time. All you have to do is follow the link here on YouTube, just below the video description to the Stranger Palooza store, where you will find this Winter Camping Fun design and other fun, cool stranger palooza gear <laughs> uh you guys are in florida freedom van gogh do you want to give folks who maybe they didn't see last year an idea of what you all do because you you pretty much do everything for vans from what i see yeah we do everything from you know say the parts to build your own van mm -hmm. all the way to build vans for you so mm -hmm. we're located in jacksonville florida we've been around for three and a half ish years now mm -hmm. um, we do about 320 vans a year and mm -hmm. that's everything from helping somebody with putting windows and a fan and mm -hmm. ac maybe mm -hmm. uh, all the way up to doing full van builds and we do everything okay. from you know rv upfits uh, all okay. the way to empty vans and okay so like if i have my van out. already like i do with mine but i don't like it and I I want to change stuff mm -hmm. you guys can help me out right yeah it, it just kind of depends on what you're wanting to do yeah. but yeah absolutely um kind of our mm -hmm. bread and butter is like you just bought a van mm -hmm. and you're not comfortable with cutting your holes or maybe mm -hmm. an electrical system so mm -hmm. we'll get it ready for you by getting mm -hmm. your your windows in and your fan your ac and maybe mm -hmm. an electrical system mm -hmm. and then you would take over and do your walls and do your mm -hmm. floor and all that kind of stuff oh, okay. and really make it your own oh cool what i like about grant is he's no nonsense <laughs> Right? Look, you've, been mess, it, you've been messing around with a lot look, of this stuff, it, so you don't it, want to waste if time. If it works, right? it works. If yeah. it doesn't, I'm going to tell you. And I'm yeah. going to tell you why it doesn't work. Because, right. like, like, I've, like I've told you in the past, mm -hmm. if, if we're going to sell it and we're going to install it, we use it first so that mm -hmm. we can make sure that we can tell you, hey, why is this a good idea? Right. Or why isn't it? Or mm -hmm. in this particular instance, maybe this is a good product, but in this instance, this is a better one. Yeah. I like that because a lot of folks doing this, man, what I've noticed is they get confused because there's just so much stuff out there. There right. is. There's, There's so many options. Yeah. So now you've got an Echo, mm -hmm. right? And you did some stuff to the Echo. You're going to give us a little run through here. Yeah, what, absolutely. What can you tell us about this from the outside? Yeah. So this is a relatively early model. Um, I ordered it. It took a year to get. Uh, it's mm -hmm. a 2021 Echo. Mm -hmm. um, it's based off the Ford Transit cab chassis 350 HD. Uh, so it's got the 3.5 EcoBoost, just like yep, you got. Yep, all the um, awesomeness. Lots of power. This thing does amazing. We tow our show trailer with it. That mm -hmm. is, um, well, for insurance purposes, it's 5,000 pounds. <laughs> um, but it tows it amazing. We uh -huh. went all across the country. It's done <clears throat> 4,000 miles cross country this year. Right. We were arguing, it's like, you know, is Transit better or Sprinter better? You know, well, I still think, I mean, a Sprinter, power, power. I mean, a Sprinter with an EcoBoost engine would be Oh, amazing. the mix. Yeah, yeah. Put the two the, together. The mix would make it better. Because, I mean, the, yeah. the, chat, the, the cab portion of the Sprinter is way better. Like, it's so much more comfortable. It, I would agree. Sprinter it's bigger. Better. It's bigger. If you, it, well, you can get the extended. You the can ergonomics are great. Yeah. But the engine in the Ford made out of the box factory, it's just, it, it's better. I mean, there's, yeah. there's, there's nothing about it. Yes. But, so this Echo is the non-pop top version. So it sleeps two, seats four. This mm -hmm. thing is super awesome. We've done a number of changes to it. We've done bumper, we've done suspension, winch, lighting, lighting controller. Uh, did the inhabit mats on the inside. We did a rigged rear swing out, which is awesome because we can actually tow our trailer through the tire swing out. It, mm -hmm. it mounts in the hitch and it's done amazing. Okay. Uh, super duper happy with it. So but, when you're putting stuff on, you're mm -hmm. thinking about the sensors and everything, right? Obviously these new vans have a lot of sensors. Like sure. we were talking about uh, this winch set up here up front. Mm -hmm. Not everything works. I understand, right? Yeah, so, so well, especially on the Echo specifically, because mm -hmm. it's a 350 HD chassis, mm -hmm. the intercooler and some of the other things kind of around the front end are a lot bigger Good. than a normal Transit. Mm -hmm. So some things won't work with it and some will. We work with CA Tuned and Backwoods Adventure Mods. Their bumpers both now work with the uh, with uh, uh, Echoes and the larger intercoolers. Uh, okay. They had to make some design changes mm -hmm. to facilitate it, but because we were able to get one so early in the process, um, we were able to work with the companies to make sure that stuff works. Uh, okay. Again, with the 
making sure it works before <laughs> right, we put right, it on right. other customers' yeah. vehicles because it requires significant modification the first time. Right. If we would have just been like, yeah, they'll fit. They really right. don't. Like you got to yeah. make sure that you yeah. do the research. Yeah, um, we were talking about this grill, which everyone's seen out there. I really like it because it makes it look tougher. Mm -hmm. You know, so I, I'm gonna probably get that from you. Do you have to? Did this have a um, the front camera? Do you have to relocate that? Yeah. Or? So okay. if if you don't have a camera option, it just mm -hmm. pops right in. If you have the camera option, it has mm -hmm. a space for it here, okay. and on the back side, mm -hmm. it actually has the imprint. So you just use a little Dremel oh, just, and just oh. open it up because mm -hmm. the other transit that we had. Um, it had the camera on it because mm -hmm. it had the 360 thing. Mm -hmm. um, and it just takes a Dremel and you just cut out the lines and okay. it just pops right in. It's got the, it has one little spot for a hole for a, hole for a screw. Okay. And you just put the camera in, screw it in, you're good to go. Oh, cool. Yeah, I okay. mean, it, it is a factory Ford part, which I think okay. is what makes it even cooler. Right. Is that the Wilderness Edition over in Europe mm -hmm. comes with it as a, a factory edition. Yeah. So it fits perfect, everything yeah. works, you don't have to yeah. worry about They should do that here. Good. I don't know why they do it here, why they don't do it here, but. Um, on the li on the lights, I just wanted to ask you: Are these uh, like the LED lights or regular lights? So these are the regular lights. They're the okay. projector, but the regular lights. And okay. They, they suck. They're horrible. Yes, they do. Mine um, suck. That's yeah. one of the bad things. They're about not the good. However, I will okay. say so. Diode Dynamics, and we do mm -hmm. carry them. They make mm -hmm. an SL1 bulb. Okay. That is able to work in the factory halogen and projector housings as well as the fog lights. Oh, okay. Um, and it's they're not super cheap. I think mm -hmm. it's like 160, 180 bucks a pair. They do okay. low beams, high beams, and fogs. Oh. They make a night and day difference. They do. It is okay. Because our regular transit that we had probably a year and a half ago, mm -hmm. I did the the bulb change in it, mm -hmm. and it's absolutely crazy. Like I have, oh, cool. I have some pictures of, of the of the pattern and, yeah. the, and the brightness and all that yeah. kind of stuff because it, it made a significant improvement. And you don't have to like send the lights out and oh, get okay. retrofits and all that. That kind might of stuff. be another thing I'm going to do with you guys. In and we didn't get mm -hmm. any like errors or anything like that. Oh like, cool. It bolts straight in and it just works. Oh cool. All right, I'm gonna try that because that is a big complaint. Anything yeah, else? Fair. Anything else out here that you guys did? Um, yeah, it's just on the front end. It's just okay. a grill. We okay. did the the CA tune bumper, worn 12k winch, and then. The Diode Dynamics SS5 lights, and we have three different versions of it. So we have a, a spot here, a combo, and then a fog. So you get really a huge oh, okay. berth of light from all the way long distance all the way to the width side as you're driving down the road. Oh, nice. Okay. Um, but moving moving yeah. across the side, um, we went with a method wheel with a 265 ratio tire. Nice. And then if you look in, you see a really kind of fancy spring in there that's because it's a um, custom coilover that we had made uh -huh. um, by a company called mcs out of atlanta okay um, it's a remote reservoir uh, fully dampening adjustable coilover that's designed specifically for the transit slash echo mm -hmm. um these big tires do take a little bit of cutting so we had mm -hmm. to take a little hunk out of the front take a hunk out of the back okay. and do a little bit of hammering but yeah. I mean, big tires, it is what yes, it is. It, yeah. <laughs> you just I have the method work. rims myself, but I have regular tires on it. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, yeah if so, you go big, you're going to have to make some room. <laughs> yeah, so that gives it a two inch lift in right. the front, and then mm -hmm. we did a 5,400 pound spring pack in the rear, okay. um, along with the method wheels and the same 265 tires. Um, in this particular one, we added a second battery. Uh, it comes from the factory with one battery and a generator. Okay. Uh, I really wanted the generator because, especially like at events, we're in one spot for a while. Mm -hmm. It's really nice to be able to turn the generator on to run the AC or charge the batteries. Like, yeah. Redundancy is, is really important. I love it. My my generator is running right now. I mean, it's it's, yeah. it's a great thing to have. <laughs> yeah. So, is, are, are these still AGM batteries? No. Or are they so lithium? the the Echoes actually use um, lithionics. Um, oh, lithionics. Lithionics right. oh, batteries. Oh, very nice. So great it's a batteries. 320 amp hour battery, and like I said. With the generator, it comes with one. Mm -hmm. You can option to do oh, a generator cool. delete, and then okay. you can get a second battery. Okay. I wanted the gen I wanted the generator, and since mm -hmm. we're Lithionics dealers and installers, anyways, yeah, uh, we went ahead and added that second battery yeah. to get the 640 amp hours worth of capability, which will run your AC overnight. It's fantastic. Yeah, Lithionics makes great mm -hmm. stuff. They're in Florida. Yep. I actually have a factory tour vi video yep. coming They're out. They're amazing them, so. dudes down there. Like, yeah, they really they do great very work. Very smart. A cool battery. <laughs> it has a lot of really awesome. Tech built into it like yeah. it's really good stuff yeah absolutely so you got another lithionics did you have to do was it you know complicated to do the setup so not not really okay. um the way the ul batteries work mm -hmm. um and the can and the circuit breakers and all that mm -hmm. stuff as long as the first one 
mm -hmm. is hooked into the system, you can add one more battery oh, okay. and not have any issues. If we were to go to three batteries, let's say I wanted to add another one under the seat or something, right. then we would have to do some more wiring configuration. Okay. Um, but in this particular situation, it's a relatively straightforward addition. Oh, cool. Just gotta make some battery cables, do some other yeah. stuff. I did install a Victron uh, smart shunt okay. uh, because with the Lithionics, while you get a lot of information out of the app, mm -hmm. um, you can only do one battery at a time. So mm -hmm. you have to like look at the data for one battery and then go to then the other. The next one. Okay. So with the Victron battery monitor, I'm able oh. to see the whole system health in, in the app instead of having to go to each individual battery. Oh, cool. So how much uh, amp hours do you have on here now? 640 now. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's great. <laughs> that's cool. Okay. Pretty nice setup. Now, did you have? Did you black out anything or like the Winnebago? I didn't. No. So everything that just came like that. Yeah. Right? So okay. I and this particular one, we left it just as just you like see it. it. Was. So okay. this has a non-graphics option. Okay. So they do have the option with all the like RV typical right. graphics. And you could and do stuff. that kind of stuff if you want, if you wanted to, right? Or if you, you want to change colors. Yeah, and stuff. yeah, you can. Like you saw the the other one that we have. Yeah. We wrap the whole box in a satin yeah. black. Yeah. Um, we'll run some of that in and then see if we can even get a look at that one for you guys. Yep. For sure. Okay. All right. Cool. Um, and in the back here, like these are normal from Winnebago, these Molly panels. Yes. Um, all I really did back here is we added some Van Wave components hanging bags. Oh, okay. Oh. Um, Oh, okay, in those in those tracks. Yeah, yep. that's a great idea. Yeah, so just use the L track to hang the bags. Mm -hmm. It works out really well. Um, we add the rigged ultra swing, okay. and we actually tow through this. So this oh. goes into the hitch, and then it's got um, a tightening mechanism in the back, so it doesn't jiggle. Okay. And then we actually tow through this. This has a 10,000 pound capacity. Mm. You do have to make sure you take into account your tongue weight, and because it is extended, you can't have as much tongue weight. You just okay. got to make sure you do your research and the engine and, and your, right. your weight distribution correctly. Okay. But this thing tows amazing. What are you like, towing with this? Uh, we tow our show trailer with it. The, okay. The, with, with the when it folds out with all our product and everything. Oh right, right. Yeah, we, that's we that's that a big it. trailer too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Okay. It tows uh, absolutely amazing. Yeah. Um, and we obviously use Blue Ridge Overland gear for all of our bag storage okay. on the on the stuff. And then in this particular one. Um, Oh, I also, got a slide out. I also built a slide out. Nice. So that you can, it's really mainly for like bikes and stuff. Okay. But, because, but you can do slide outs for folks, right? If they, yeah. If there's the ability. Yeah, as long as it's it's reasonable. I mean, we right. can figure this out. This is totally custom. Mm -hmm. um, we build the, the whole thing in house, and mm -hmm. uh, I mean, it works. I like it. Yeah. I see you also have the Blue Ridge, uh, what do they call the, like trash bag? Or, yeah, Yeah. this is your uh, XL tire bag. Mm -hmm. um, this one is actually, I would just put this on recently. If you want to see how well they weather uh -huh. on our Sprinter, that Make one's been on there for three really years in Florida. Really? In the Florida sun. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it, it weathers absolutely Yeah, great. that sun is no joke. Dead reliable. I don't know about anybody else's sun, <laughs> but Florida's sun. It'll, it'll destroy it's anything. Ridiculous. Um, yeah. We ordered this one with the outside kitchen. Okay. Um, hindsight. Eh, I'm not sure I'd do it again. Really? But, okay. I mean, it's nice to have. I'll probably take this fridge and swap it out for a Dometic because it doesn't really get super cold and it takes a lot of power. Okay. Um, but it's nice to have something out here. I don't like the fact that the the stove doesn't have an igniter in it on the uh, outside, so you have to have yeah. a lighter, whereas on the inside it has an igniter, so it works great, but on okay. the outside you have to have a lighter, so it's okay. kind of annoying. Yeah, but and you can't retrofit anything if it's not there, right? I mean, I'm sure you could, like, okay. like I mean, this is just a, a propane stove, right? Yeah. So, I mean, you could swap it out for something. Right. Um, what I'll probably end up doing is just taking this out and then just having a portable induction cooktop okay. and then drop that in here and then just use because it's got an outlet right here oh, okay. so i'll just use yes. a plug here because we have so much battery yeah like might as well use it use it yeah right so in induction cooktops they heat so much better a right. lot faster boil water faster all yeah. that stuff so yeah. it's probably the move there is to yeah. just get and rid everyone's of this going to like it. air frying and all that kind of stuff yeah, it works that's the works man you can make a pretzel in three minutes <laughs> yeah, it's amazing i'm sold it's absolutely great. sold where's the generator on this yeah so it's actually on the oh we side. missed that okay yeah. So this is a, one of the quiet generators? Yeah, yeah it's okay. a Onan mm -hmm. 2800, super mm -hmm. quiet. I did, so this normally goes like, it's a lot bigger, so I actually completely re-welded this so it's <laughs> super up and tight. Okay. Um, but yeah, it's, tw it's an Onan 20, 2800i and it's super quiet. It's got a little remote inside, mm -hmm. you just start it up and it just mm -hmm. works. I mean, it's, yeah. it's, I like it. They are, yeah, they're good generators. Mm -hmm. uh, like you were saying, it's good to have one. You just have, uh, you know, another option for me, doing this for over a year, I have not come to a lot of places that I have shore power. Mm -hmm. 
other yeah. than my house. Yeah, I mean, especially yeah. if, if you're not actively moving, mm -hmm. like you don't want to just let your van run for hours to charge yeah. the battery. Yeah. I mean, it has a second alternator. We, we get good charging. Okay. But like, I mean, mm -hmm. if you're like, especially like here, we're mm -hmm. sitting here for four or five days. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we still have 600 something watts of solar, right. but when you're using microwaves, when you're using you know, the heater, you're charging stuff, you're watching TV, you're running mm. Starlink, like it takes power. A lot. And a lot I mean, too. you have so, to be able to, to, to get it back. And the generator is just another good way to be able to do it. Yeah, so Echo, so, uh, Winnebago, excuse me, Winnebago put in the second alternator in Correct. this? Correct, yep, yep. Oh. So it has a second alternator. It's a and a generator. Yeah, it's a 170 okay. amp Balmar alternator. Mm -hmm. um, and it also, you can, it comes standard with a generator. Mm -hmm. You can opt to delete the generator and get right. a second battery. Inside. Yeah, get the generator. Yeah, I mean, I'm, <laughs> I think I'm it's in awesome. for the generator. Yes. I mean, really, that's that's really it. Okay. I mean, we haven't really done much. Everything else, else is the same. Yeah, everything else is nothing. Is no differences on the inside. I didn't change anything yet. Okay. Now I'm gonna completely redo the whole interior, but okay. I mean, as of now, nothing's different. We're gonna change out the yeah. galley and mm -hmm. and swap the location of the the sink and the stove. We're gonna swap that around. Okay. And right now it's a north to south bed. We're gonna change to an east to west. And oh, do you some are. Cabinetry and some other stuff. So why why are you thinking about that? Uh, so? so it's actually longer east to west mm -hmm. than it is north to south. Mm -hmm. um, so it's it's an actual queen if you sleep side to side versus front to back is a little shorter. Mm -hmm. um, like my head and my t my feet like. Mm -hmm. or, just barely touching the, the top okay. and the bottom. So if you go yeah. side to side, mm -hmm. there's plenty of space. Okay. Um, and then also because of that, it frees up where the cabinetry is. I can do vertical cabinets to have more drawers and more mm -hmm. just clothing storage. Oh, okay. I, I've spoken to some people that their one complaint is that the AC and the bed are really close. I don't know if you've heard that. I mean, it's so, so everybody that has an RV complains about the same thing. Thing. So <laughs> suck it up, Buttercup. It is yeah, what it is. Exactly. I mean, it just, it just I mean that's where that's where they typically are mm -hmm. in, in RVs in the back, and the beds happen to yeah, be. I mean, I mean, back think there. about it in your house, right? If you if your bedroom is next to your air handler, mm -hmm. it's noisy. Mm -hmm. Like it just is what it is. I mm -hmm. mean, you have a fan right above your head and a compressor right above your head. Mm -hmm. Like it's just it just is what it is. I mean, put some earplugs in if it really bothers <laughs> you that much. But, yeah. I mean, uh -huh. if you want all of this stuff in a small package mm -hmm. like you got to make some sacrifices somewhere okay it just is what it is okay what would you do if you like had the opportunity to design an echo you know for winnebago and make changes what would you do um i mean overall i think the, the problem is, is you have to look at it is it a designer for production or mm -hmm. is it designer because i want to so mm -hmm. if you got a designer for production, I don't think I would do much different because you have to take into account a whole lot of different things, mm -hmm. right? You have to take into account the features versus the floor plan versus the overall usability for everybody mm -hmm. versus the cost versus right. the product. That's the like I think they've done a really good job in that. Mm -hmm. um, and you can always do something different. You always can, mm -hmm. right? But I think they've done a really good job in balancing all of those things mm -hmm. to make something that's good for 80% of the people. Mm -hmm. And you know, Russell Winnebago has said this before: is like Winnebago in general, they're not here to provide you 100% of the vehicle, mm -hmm. right? They're here to provide something that's an 80% of what you need. And then you take that last 20% and really mold the vehicle for what you need. Mm -hmm. and I really agree with that. I think okay. most RVs, you have to go into it thinking that way. You can't go into any RV or trailer or anything saying, hey, it's gonna be this is exactly what I need. Yeah. Because it's not going to be. There's always mm -hmm. going to be something like, man, I wish I had some, some more storage here. Mm -hmm. Or I wish I had a different light here. Like, mm -hmm. There's always going to be something that somebody wants. Yeah. And just because what works for me doesn't mean it's going to work for you. Yeah. Right. So while there's some changes that I would make, mm -hmm. I still honestly think that Winnebago hit it out of, and I have no affiliation with them, right. mind you. I don't sell them. Yeah. I don't. I don't do anything. But I really yeah. think that they hit it out of the park with this for the cost. I mean, I think they're, I think they're selling like the 150 to 155 range right now. Mm -hmm. And I mean, for me to build this for somebody to buy a cab chassis, transit, mm -hmm. and then put a box on the back and then mm -hmm. build it. It's 200, 220 all day. Yeah. I so, mean, it's an incredible value. Would you say, like, I know with Winnebago, when they built the Revel, they kind of, mm -hmm. like, changed everything, van life, right? And then everyone started yeah. competing with them, Correct. trying to build a, mm -hmm. another Revel. With this, I'm kind of seeing that starting up. Is oh, yeah. Any... Well, you have the Coachman, um, the Coachman Cross Trail. Yes. Um, I've I looked at that. Thor's the Gemini, I think. Oh, I haven't seen that I yet. Think, uh -huh. I think that's what it is. I can't remember, right. but I, we, we've had a couple of customers with a coachman come in. Build with qualities. the cross trail? 
Yeah. The build quality is not, not as good quite as this. Quite as good, which yeah. which a lot of people are like. Oh, when but it's build cheaper. Quality, it's not great. It's, yeah. So you, like what you, you would, pay for. Yes, but what you were just saying, I think, is a good opportunity there because if you want to get into it, it's less expensive, mm -hmm. but you're still going to spend money. Absolutely. <laughs> which is yeah. going to bring you back up to Absolutely. this or more than this. For sure. I to mean, make it, it what it's you want. Same as in the B, right? Everybody, yeah. everybody's benchmark is the Rebel, mm -hmm. and for some people, storytelling, right? I mean, yeah. they're kind of two different vans, two different kind of yeah. use cases, layouts, yeah. all that, but. For for the B market, most people's you know comparison is the Rebel, mm -hmm. right? So people are like, well, the Jayco, it's kind of like a Rebel, or the Thor mm -hmm. Tranquility, it's kind of like a Rebel. But in all of these instances, like the Rebel is still the benchmark, but it's still a budget van. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think those are selling for like 165, 170. Mm -hmm. But I mean, it's <laughs> yeah, an incredible I mean, value for what it is. Mm -hmm. But it's not gonna be the same thing as like a custom fan. Like you're always gonna have a little bit of things that you're gonna. Yeah, I would change a bunch of stuff RV. on a Revel if I had to deal yeah, with it. Yeah, I mean yeah. the Revel's not really for me. We've yeah. owned one. Right. And it was great for mm -hmm. what it is, mm -hmm. but like I want a little bit more room. I love the box on the Echo mm -hmm. because you're able to take a normal shower. Yeah. Like in if in, in like we build vans and when people are like, hey, I want a shower, I'm like, okay, yeah. let's go look at a Revel. Go look at right. uh, an Airstream. Go look at an Airstay. Go look at a Bolt. Go look right. at an Echo. You know, look at these options because. Mm -hmm. If you want that in there to do it is like they do it for a good price, like you kind of have to go with an RV. Mm -hmm. And ultimately, it, I'm I'm not here just to like build a van to like sell vans. Mm -hmm. In general, we want to build a van if it matches what the person needs. And if it mm -hmm. doesn't, I'm like, hey, let's go look at an RV, or hey, let's go look at this other van builder that mm -hmm. I trust. Like, we'll without a doubt easily tell people like this isn't the right thing for you mm -hmm. because. I mean, people save up for decades yeah. to be able to get into something like this, mm -hmm. and it's not my dream, it's theirs. Mm -hmm. And that's, I think, what a lot of people are missing is it's it's not that this is the best thing. It's like, right. well, this may or may not be the best thing for you, mm -hmm. right? Just because it's good for me doesn't mean it's good for you, doesn't mean it's good for you. I agree. So making sure that you honor that and really are good stewards for your customers and the people that you're helping, and I think the most important part of all of this is yeah. to make sure that people get the right thing. I agree, I agree. So here's what we're gonna do. We're not gonna take up any more of Grant's time now, we're gonna use up his time later. I'm in. Let's we do need it. to do some more videos together, man. Look, we're Basically, not that far away. Yeah, we're we're in the same place. So I'll come out and do some stuff with you. Maybe we, you know, we'll, let's do it. Yeah, you guys let us know what you want to see, what kind of you know information, what kind of videos you want to see, and we'll get those done. All right. Yeah, man. Make sure you guys check out Freedom Van Gogh. If people want to know more, where do they find that out? Where can yeah, they go? Yeah, honestly, it's really easy. We're Freedom Van Gogh pretty much anywhere: Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. You can find us pretty much anywhere. There you go. All right, we're out of here. We'll see you guys. We're at the 2022 Overland Expo East in Virginia. We're out. Peace.